Hey everyone! Welcome to Artist Rage, where we draw things and try not to get too frustrated with the fact that it's not perfect. Uh, today we are drawing a wine glass and then we're going to paint it with acrylic paint. So what you're going to need is a pencil, an eraser, and a paintbrush, water, and some acrylic paints. So first, let's go ahead and get started. Let's draw that wine glass. So while I didn't mention it, you may want to go ahead and grab a ruler too, um, but you don't have to. You can just eyeball it. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of measure out where the center of my board is. Is that right? So I'm gonna say I'm gonna say that's my center, which you can't even see that. It's so far away. Right there. Okay. Draw the stem of the glass. I'm making the stem of the glass on either sides of that middle mark. I'm using the ruler so I can be straight. Now we're going to draw the top of the wine glass. And it's a U shape. How far? I have to decide. I have to make this decision how far up I want this on the page. Um, um, I'm going to use my ruler to make a line at the top. I have my line here. Yeah. yeah. So this extra line here, I'm going to erase that. So I made the U, the bottom, bigger, and it kind of very slightly goes in. There we have that. And now we need the bottom of our wine glass, which is kind of a triangular shape, a bit of a rounded bottom base. So, triangle, triangle, triangle. Oh, I didn't make that very even, did I? Did not make it even. Oh no! Okay, good enough. Okay, so what I'm going to do with the wine is it's going to be splashing into the glass. Let's go ahead and draw the wine that's going to be pouring into the glass. Do I want it up here? Do I already made the mark or do I want it more like right here coming off this corner? That may be cooler. Let's do that. It's going to be coming off over here, splashing into the glass. So we got it splashing in, it curls up over here. All right, so that's our wine just going in, shooting into the glass from we don't know where. <laughs> and, okay, so that's gonna be the basis of our drawing for our painting. So let's get painting, let's pull out those acrylics. ta -da! Okay, so here are our acrylics. Well, my acrylics anyways. You can grab uh, whatever brand you want. I have all kinds of brands here. I have the uh, Basics, uh, some Amsterdam, extra fine quality that way I found on clearance for six dollars marked down from ten dollars and uh, Academy acrylic so it's really um, whatever you want uh, I've noticed that the basics tend to be a little bit thinner a little bit more transparent than some of the other paints but you know that may be a good thing if you like to do layering so I have that and I have I have some uh, paint brushes and again, you don't need this many paintbrushes. And I don't even know if I'm going to use all these colors, so just wait till the end of the video and we'll find out what colors we actually need. But I have my basics. I have my red, my yellow, my blue, white, and black. And i um, going to kind of mix our own colors from that. And if I need any extra colors, I'll pull them out and we'll put that on the supply list. So I'm really excited to see how this turns out. All right. Let's get started. Let's go ahead and just get right to it. We want to paint the wine, right? That's the most fun part to paint because it's red and pretty and whiny. I went ahead and put down um, this rose color, acrylic color, on my palette, which is a just a paper plate. You can use whatever. It does not matter. We are not professionals here. We are just having fun. Yes, yes. I have to tell myself that, otherwise I'd cry. Don't forget to have a paper towel or some kind of cloth so you can wipe your brush too. Dip it in the water, which you can't see off screen. I'm dipping it in my rose red paint. 
Let's just get a layer of the red down. Thin layer with water and the acrylic paint. So the water is your medium. Okay, so now that I have my base thin layer of red, and it's already dry because that's acrylic and it's awesome, I'm going to use a little bit of black. <laughs> and um, just a touch of black and a, a lot of red, make it a little bit darker. Let's just see how it looks. If we don't like it, you know what? We can paint over it, no big freaking deal. All right, a little bit of black, a little bit of red, some water, and yes, I'm watching Downton Abbey as I paint. It helps a lot. <laughs> Keeps the rage down. Okay, so let's make some uh, dark areas in our wine. Oh, look at that, that looks just fine. No problem. Just let's see where I end up putting all the dark spots and that's where you can put the dark spots too. Something I wanted to mention is that if you find that your paint isn't going on as fluidly as you'd like on your canvas, just add more water. Just put it on your brush, maybe dab a little bit on your paper towel or cloth and continue painting. And I really, really cannot stress enough how important it is to use water with your acrylics and not just use the acrylic itself and put it onto the canvas. It'll get too thick, it'll dry in a big clump, it just, it won't look nice, but the more water you use, you can make it look more fluid and you can do more layers and it's just really nice overall look. So again, like I said, I'm not done with the wine yet and I hope you are not either. Don't rush it. So now I'm outlining the wine glass with a bit of the brown and a bit of black in some places that's darker. No, I'm secrets. I was afraid you'd say that. The odd thing is, I think it was. But for me, everyone. Okay, so this is it. This is our wine glass painting. All I did at the end was is I added uh, the red color to the outline of the stem and the outline of the glass, and that's really it. Anyways, I hope your wine glass painting turns out splendidly, and just have fun with it. Don't fret, and have a good time. That's what this is all about, creating and having a good time. So why don't you give it a try and I'll see you next time. Okay? See you. Yeah, so here it is. It's kind of big, right? Not too bad. You know, it'd be neat to do some kind of this color in the background too, but it's all right. Yeah, give it a shot. See you.